Preheat your oven to 350. You're Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. So today we're gonna make red velvet cupcakes. We had these on Thanksgiving and they were so good, but I hate, 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 hate cream cheese. I can't. I won't eat anything that contains cream cheese. I don't care if it's cheesecake, I don't care if it's pie. I don't care what it is. I refuse. Yeah, I just don't eat cheesecake. It's just not in me. Um, I don't eat cheesecake. I I don't eat cream cheese, guys. I don't eat cream cheese at all, and that's just that. I decided to make my own little spin to it. I am going to... I'm tired. Instead of cream cheese frosting, I'm going to use um this frosting called best cream if you guys have hannaford and you're like wherever you guys live you would know what it is but it's basically like an icing but it's like a whipped cream type it's basically like a whipped cream based icing so instead of doing cream cheese frosting how people usually do do like a whipped to topping for it so yeah and i'm at a jam jar <laughs> so um and the uh, Wine cellar I went to today, just ridiculous. Let me tell you, Jam Jar is like a South African wine, so it's kind of hard to find at like, you know, white liquor stores. So I had to settle with this. It's called Sweet Walter Red, and it's by Bully Hill. The lady told me it's pretty sweet, so we're going to give it a try. Might as well, right? Um, yeah, let's see. I think you open it that way. And this is my wine. Nobody else in my house drinks, well, drinks my wine, so um, I'm putting my mouth on it. Let's give it a taste. Oh, it smells sweet. It kind of almost smells like my jam jar, to be honest. And my jam jar is, jam jar is a sweet Shiraz. I don't know what that means in wine talk, but it's packed with juicy berry flavor, hint of dark chocolate. That's probably why it's so sweet. Let me tell you guys, if you guys want to be bougie, but like still enjoy your liquor and it not taste as bitter as like wine actually really does taste because most wine tastes bitter. Hate to break it to you. I'm not one of those people who could just sit there and be drinking on a bitter wine because it's cute. No. Um, I like my wine, um, sweet. If I'm gonna have wine, I want it to be sweet. So, um, yeah, let's give this a try. Oh, this is really sweet. What's alcohol percentage? This, jam jar is 12.5 and this is 11%. This is really sweet. Like, I don't even know if I wanna drink this right now since I'm baking. I don't know. It's like I'm trying to make it taste like jam jar. I don't know. It's sweet. I'll say that. It's really sweet. So if you want to try it, um, it's called Sweet Walter Red. If you guys can see it. It's called Sweet Walter Red. Um, it's by it's by a vineyard called Bully Hill though, so just ask for Bully Hill and then ask for whatever this shit is. I don't know how I feel about it because my jam jar, it's sweet, but it's like this just tastes like like juice. But um I'm just gonna um put something on real quick. And we'll be downstairs. Okay, guys, so for the recipe, you're going to need salted butter. You're going to need some sour cream. You're going to need baking soda, of course. This is the baking soda I'm using. 
Um, you're going to need all-purpose flour. You're going to need some unsweetened cocoa. And then some pure vanilla extract. Red food coloring for the velvetiness. Cupcake liners. Don't forget this. I'm using organic eggs. Doesn't matter what kind of eggs you use, but that's what I'm using. You're gonna need some milk. This is the frosting that I was telling you guys about. And then I bought this to try and like, you know, make them cute at the top. And then also you're gonna need some salt and some sugar. And I got golden sugar because it dissolves better in anything you bake hint dissolves way better in food see does anyone listen to roddy rich's new album oh boy he did his thing he did his motherfucking thing and yeah i'm gonna need you guys to check that out he ain't sponsoring me either that's just me saying that so go check that shit out so we're gonna start the recipe Niggas are so annoying. Girl, talk real quick. You know what I hate? I hate when you post a picture. It won't even be a view right now. It could be a throwback. You post any, you post one thing on social media. Now every nigga that's following you is already like, hey boo, hey gorgeous. How you doing? How you been? How's the day treating you? You ate? Nigga, you don't care if I ate or not. Okay? I'm hungry. I'm at this point in my life where I just, I see shit for what it is. I can only move accordingly. Like, I don't even, like, I feel like when I was younger and stuff, I used to be, like, more offended when, like, I really seen how, like, guys are really just shit bags and they try and hide it. They just think they're split. You want to know why? Because this might not be in every scenario, okay? But I'm talking, like, personal preference. I feel like, personally, guys nowadays, guys of this generation, they don't want to commit. And if they do want to commit to you, they want to rule you. They want to have all type of control over you. You have no say in what you can or cannot do. You got to go by their lead. And I've never been that type of female. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care what's sitting in your bank account. I don't care who you know. All right? I don't care whose studio session you sat in. I don't care. Like, I refuse to lower my standards and values because what? A nigga told me so? Absolutely not. Okay? I am my own person. I don't spend 22 years of my life running me. Ain't nobody running me but me. I'm like, a nigga think you can run me. You know? Like, that shit don't even make sense. I don't know what... This is some shit. You know that I don't know where the measuring cups are, so I might be winging it today, guys. I'm gonna just have to post the link to the recipe. I'm gonna post a link for the recipe. Post a link for the recipe. Um, for the recipe under the description. Under the description. Under the description bar. I'm gonna post it there because. I'm not, I don't have measuring cups, so this shit is gonna be all types of goofy. Oh, I have one cup, though. like that makes sense. Well, my mom just sent me a picture at a, at a um, Christmas party that she's at. Yo, this is upsetting me. If you guys could see this crack, it looks so doofy. Preheat your oven to 350. You're 350. Mix flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, and salt in a medium bowl and set it aside. All right. Do I need two thirds of anything? I'm not gonna sit here and do dishes for nothing. I need two, two and a half cups of flour. So this is one cup. This is two thirds cup. So, you know what, I don't have no words. You know, this is hurting me. 
This is really upsetting me, actually. Like, the lag of this look, just looks pathetic. And, and now my camera's crooked. I'm just gonna have to back up so you guys can fully see me. Because I don't appreciate my camera. So, I'm going in with my cup of flour. <gasps> so I can never not make a mess. I want it so you guys can see what I'm doing, like... Hmm. I'm so sorry, like, this ghetto ass shit is broken and I don't know what to say. Because I'm just embarrassed. Do you get flagged for cursing? I doubt it. So, that's two and a half somewhat. That's the flour. Now I need half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. So this is the cocoa powder. I'm gonna put this back in the fridge because it gets, um, it can melt quick because it's a whip base. So, so I need half a cup. Oh, this looks like half a cup. So that's half a cup of the Hershey's cocoa. I just feel like I need to add a little more. One teaspoon of baking soda. A teaspoon, a teaspoon. So this isn't a teaspoon, but I'm just gonna have to measure with my eyes closed because I have no other option. So this is how much I'm putting in there, guys. It's a teaspoon. One teaspoon, half a teaspoon of salt. Damn, this is gonna be real hard. Cause I'm really guessing right now. Half a teaspoon. This is how much I'm guesstimating, guys. So if you guys can see. Oh shit, it's falling. I'm really guesstimating, if you guys can see from right here, this is how much I'm putting. It says half a teaspoon. I mean, why would you put that much salt in it anyways? You know, it's cupcakes. Set aside, okay, so. Thanks. Oh, it says mix it. So I'm gonna mix it. And then it says set aside, and I'm guessing I'm gonna do the other stuff in the other bowl. All right, so I'm putting this aside. Okay, now beat butter. <laughs> out of here, man. Lay the fuck out of me. I knew it was this stupid. Why do they do this? <sighs> Whatever. One cup of butter, so two sticks. Mom said that she add two more tablespoons of butter than the recipe says and cook it for five minutes less than the recipe says so i'm gonna use two of these and then i think yeah it has tablespoons on here so it has two teaspoons so luckily this has something beneficial so i'm basically gonna put Two sticks and then two tablespoons after that. So, I'm gonna put the butter in first. You're here? What? The what? Okay, get it. Get it, who's stopping you? There, so you guys can see me better. There we go. Ignore the elf in the background. Guys, I'm literally like, talk to me. Matter of fact, let me talk to y'all. So I'm cutting it right here because I don't got time to play. So 
remember how my last video if i posted that one already by now i don't know last video i was talking about how um they i feel like i've had a lot of situations where i've been friends with somebody and they didn't like they didn't wish the best for me i really like i'm trying to like get why people act like that like do they just feel like they don't have a purpose in life so they feel like if they don't have a purpose they gotta make sure the people around them like don't figure out their purpose this week i had falling out with one of my friends that i just not i'm not even gonna say friends because honestly her term is up <laughs> i'm not doing this no more like and i just feel like our our friendship is just all damn i don't know yo i will be so mad if that shit didn't just record oh my god having a friend that doesn't feel like your purpose in life is as important because they don't know theirs like i just feel like i've been dealing with that with this girl for a while and i've put up with it for so long like guys so long like it makes no sense how long i've been dealing with it and it's like I've been, I've tried to be the friend to like, you know, help her get through it. I won't sit here. I won't sit here and say my shit is better than anybody else's because it's not. Four months left till I graduate. And yeah, I'm still, I'm still a wreck. Like I'm still a wreck. She's going through a lot in life right now where she doesn't know what she's doing. And she's doing a lot of stuff that she shouldn't be doing to like cope with the fact that she doesn't know what she's doing. So it makes, it makes it 10 times worse because she keeps taking losses. Losses after loss. And like, I feel like it's really like, it's it's bringing her down. As much as she tries to put up a front and um, act like everything's okay. It's okay for like, <laughs> and I hate to sound, it's okay to not be okay. Like, you know. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to struggle. It's okay to like cry. Like it's okay. But the fact that you keep like making your situation worse by like not even not even acknowledging that it's like what you're going through. That was not a cup, so I'm not gonna have to put like a quarter more of sugar in here. Two cups of granulated sugar. So I just feel like she's going through a lot and I can only wish the best for her, but her time is up with me. <laughs> I'm not the one to be doing the back and forth shit, baby. This clip for that. And the fact that we keep falling off over petty stuff, but like it's always because I'm not putting her issues before me again. That's every time we fall out. It's never over like a boy. It's never over money. It's never over anything personal. It's literally because i can't be on her time 24 7 because i don't make every every second of the day about her we fall out every time but i'm not gonna keep dealing with somebody like that i don't feel like anyone should have to deal with somebody like that because that's just selfish a friendship is 50 50 the way i look at it i don't really have much to say about it just the fact that please put yourself first before anything we care about in our lives but let me tell you something friends come and go that's how i see it you have to learn how to be alone as harsh as it sounds you have to learn how to be alone because that's the only way you're going to be able to get anywhere in life because if you feel like you need somebody to depend on or just to be there all the time you're not going to make it far like you're really not um that's my little take on it I'm just, I just feel bad because, I mean, I don't feel bad. It's just like, I, it's just annoying at this point. We fall off, then we fall on, then we fall off. It's just pointless. Because I'm a good ass friend. I don't sit here and judge anybody. I've never been the type to do that. We're in business. I don't think we had one. We're gonna have to make it work. Okay. Don't really want to go anywhere for New Year's. I just feel like this one isn't the right size. But you know what? We're gonna have to get ghetto on these ones. I'm trying to. Oh my god, if you guys could see this. Is like...
This is horrible. Okay, maybe I'm going to put in everything. How many eggs? Okay, it says four eggs. This ain't working. This ain't working. Right way, baby. And this shit gonna be full of shows. Psych. You ever, you ever think like, oh, one day you could crack an egg and a like chicken would still be in it? <laughs> At FDA's front door, honey. Definitely paying me for that. No shells. Four eggs and where's my phone? Eggs one at a time. Mix in sour cream. How much sour cream do I need? One cup of sour cream. That's good because we got one cup. That's all we got, actually. Um, oh my god. You know what I just thought? I thought this was, um... I thought this was freaking cottage cheese for a second. I would have really choked myself. I hate sour cream, though, so I'm really shocked that I'm putting this in here. Is this a cup? That looks like a cup, right? kind of looks like whipped cream. Have you ever tried something like nasty and just closed your eyes and like winged it? Because it's like, I feel like if you close your eyes, the food tastes different. I don't know, maybe that's just me talking. I'll have to try that one day, like a challenge. Okay, so this is how it's looking right now. That's what we're working on right now. So I just poured in the half a cup of milk. And it says... Um, I'm pouring all of this in here. Okay. That's a lot. Da 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 da. Okay, mix in sour cream, food coloring, and extract. How much extract am I putting in? Two tablespoons, two teaspoons, but I'm gonna put how much I want. I would put how much I want because I like vanilla extract. Ugh. Let me tell you something. My first check I get from YouTube, it's going to veneers. And remember I said that. Feel me? food coloring so I'm pretty it says one fluid ounce of it so I'm pretty much pouring the whole thing in here I wonder what's in food coloring because it doesn't have a taste yeah it doesn't have a taste it, it actually tastes disgusting actually so I just poured all the food coloring into this. Let's try using a different thingy, guys. Hold on. And it says don't overbeat. I'm pouring in the flour, guys. It? I hope this is it. I don't think I have any more. So yeah. Now that I have the batter done, I'm gonna clean up. I'm gonna clean. I'm gonna come back. I'm just gonna clean up and stuff and um, get the tray ready. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So. I just poured them into the tin foil 
thingies. I sprayed them, of course, before I did anything. Now. So I'm gonna let those cook. I only have a six count. I only have a I only have a six count um, cupcake thing. So I'm gonna clean up, let those sit for 20 minutes. But I'm gonna take them out at 15 minutes because my stepmom said that if you take them out at 15 minutes, they're softer. So with that being said, I'm gonna clean up and then we're gonna come back in 15 minutes. We're gonna check out my cupcakes. Okay guys, so this is how they came out. I forgot to show them out when they, when they first came out the oven, but I just tried one and they are so freaking moist. I'm literally just doing these ones. I have another batch in the oven because like I said, I only have a six count. So yeah, that's pretty much it. They came out so bomb and I'm putting the whip topping on it right now. So they just look so good but yeah I just wanted to show you guys and um, yeah that's it um, I'll probably bite into another one just to show you guys in a second hold on it is so moist and so warm mm -hmm. Delicious. I want to eat them all, but I'll be out in a stretcher by the morning. Oh, yeah. That's how I make red velvet cupcakes, guys. My camera's about to die. Like, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys so much.